Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janet Davies and I'm your hair growth guide. I'm coming at you frizzy hair and all, no makeup, okay? Because apparently you guys don't really care for the makeup, so it takes me time, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna probably stop wearing makeup when I don't have the time to do it, but you guys are so lovely. Anywho, on this channel, we talk about all things entrepreneurship, natural hair, and motherhood, all that good stuff. And in this video in particular, we are going to be talking about the unpopular things that actually contribute to hair growth. And these are things that people may not pay attention to. It may be things that people don't even associate with hair growth, but they are probably one of the most, if not the most important thing when it comes to healthy hair growth. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. I speak about this a lot on this channel and it is that healthy hair growth is a sign of overall good health. So as a starting point, we need to ensure that you are overall healthy and then you can look into the products, the methods, tools, the techniques that you can use to maximize your overall healthy hair growth. But can I just interject? Being healthy is great for hair growth but it's even better for you. You are worthy of being looked after. I want us to be the best versions of ourselves mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and of course that should showcase in our hair. And that's because I really do care about our community. I wanna make sure that we are the best versions of ourselves and we serve ourselves in the right manner. So, I may be stepping on some toes, but a lot of our diets are just trash. And, and before you drag me in the comments, I'm saying this to myself too, I'm a recovering or recovered, I will, I want to say, sugar addict. So think of it this way. If you went outside and you saw someone walking around looking at trash cans and then setting up a table next to that trash can and digging into that trash can, trying to find all sorts of rotten and spoiled food, put it on their plate and they just started feasting, they had a napkin and everything, you would think, A, that person is probably not in their right mind and B, they're gonna probably be very, very sick. And this is the same thing when we eat junk food. And junk food, and I say food in quotation marks because it's not really food, but junk food is literally junk because it has no true benefit to our bodies. There's no nutrition in it. It's just pure empty calorie. And quite frankly, we shouldn't even be calling it food. It's actually poison. Food was created by God to nourish our bodies. But these days, in the kind of environment that we live in, in a very modern, technologically advanced world that we live in, food hasn't quite developed in a way that you would think it would. It's actually somewhat become, quite frankly, poison. A lot of the food that we see in the market has been created in a lab and then it's been mashed together with gl food glues and then you have your flavorings and your colorings and then it's presented to us in what seems like food but this is something that our body doesn't even recognize and therefore stores it as fat or it can actually become toxic to the body and the chances are if something is in a packet if it's in a jar it's most likely ultra processed and very toxic to your body and we may spend a lot of money on products and i'm all for you know making sure you have the right products but how much more so should we spend our not only money but our time and effort to research and understand what is actually good for our body so that we can heal ourselves from within and i would say arguably spending that time and effort is much more important in spending that on food and nutrition over product. And I'm someone who sells products, so it's in my best interest to make sure that you, you buy it. But in all honesty, because I care about our community, I want us to focus more so on what can we do in our day-to-day -day lives to ensure that our bodily health is better and that will reflect in our hair. And I say this all to myself as well because I am a recovering sugar addict, okay? And yeah. I want to preface this video with all of this because this mindset shift is so important in how you view your diet and your nutrition. Once you understand that food should be medicine, you will actually 
change the way you view food and your relationship with food should change. Because quite frankly, we can either put something in our body to nourish us, to make us better, more revitalized, have more energy, prevent cancer, help healthy hair growth, all these good things. Or we could be putting stuff into our body that is a toxin and could age us quicker and could cause hair loss, quite frankly. So let's get into why your diet could be causing hair loss. So quite frankly, if you are deficient in the building blocks of your body, it's very hard for your body to prioritize something like hair growth. Think about it this way, you know, your, your body, okay, it has to do so many different things to make sure you're alive. It's got to make new red blood cells, new white blood cells, it's got to make sure that your lungs are expanding and, you know, collapsing, all in good time for your heart to be beating, all these good things. These processes require so many nutrients to function at its best capacity. So if you're deficient in the building blocks for your body, I'm putting this in the most simple terms as possible so we can understand. How do you then expect your body to prioritize hair growth? If you're deficient in the building blocks for the health of your body, how do you expect your body to prioritize healthy hair growth? It's not possible, it's not possible for my Yorubas out there. You understand like, it's so important that we pay close attention to our nutrition and what we put into our bodies and just avoid as much as we can putting junk food and slowly introduce, because this is a journey, you know, it's not a, you know, a one day thing, you just throw out all your junk food and then you start eating healthily, but it's something that will take time but you wanna be making sure that you're prioritizing food that is genuinely gonna help your health and fill you with nutrition. So the common deficiencies that have been observed that typically cause hair loss, but, but I would actually argue that all nutritional deficiencies can cause a form of hair loss in a sense, or may not you may not see your hair um, thrive to its full potential, but the ones that we see closely linked to hair loss include iron, and this is such an important molecule. I won't bore you with the science, but if you're deficient in iron, you're most likely gonna have very dry, brittle hair that is prone to breaking. Um, you may be trying everything under the sun to make sure your hair you know, it's looked after. You may be being very gentle with your hair. You may be making sure you're doing your proteins, but if you're deficient in iron, your hair may just, with all that effort, it could be amounting to nothing because you just don't have enough iron in your diet. And I'll just list all of these and I'll also list foods that are high in these um, nutrients so that you can actually look at your diet and think, how can I improve my overall nutritional health so that my hair can be prioritized as a way, as, as a thing to grow for my body. So you wanna also be looking at zinc. So iron, you know, things like red meat, beans, nuts, fruit, etc., are rich in iron. Zinc also is a very important nutrient. Um, you can also find that in like meat, in uh, shellfish, dairy foods, all these things. And you also wanna make sure you have a lot of fatty acids in your diet because these are really great for making sure your hair is maximized and growing to its full potential. So you wanna look at fatty acids like omega-3, omega-6. These are great when it comes to making sure that your diet is really sustaining your hair growth. You also wanna be looking at niacin or what they call vitamin B3, which is a key vitamin to ensure that you are growing healthy hair. And another one is vitamin D, which is also another vitamin. Um, you can actually get that from just spending some time in the sun. That's great because it's free, right? Just spending 10 minutes in a day, making sure that you are in direct sunlight can help your body produce that vitamin D. But if you're in a colder climate, like in the UK, it's very cloudy. We don't get much sunlight and you know how it is in the UK. Okay. you can of course supplement that within your diet or you can take additional supplements. Another key nutrient to hair growth is selenium. Selenium can actually be found in Brazil nuts, it can be found in fish, it can be found in meat, it can be found in eggs. A lot of these nutrients can be found in typical things that you can find in your supermarket, which is great because you don't have to go out of your way to, to you know, find these things to include in your diet. But the most important thing is variety. You wanna make sure that your diet is completely varied and also filled with antioxidants. Antioxidants, which aren't necessarily a nutrient, but they're a great tool in making sure that your body has limited oxidative stress and what I mean by that is in your body think about all the processes of that ongoing in your body when you're breathing when your your blood is flowing all these chemical reactions that occur in your body actually cause free radicals to 
rain in your body. I don't want to get too much into the science, but ultimately antioxidants help us maintain the health of our body and help us look younger and just thrive overall. So things that are high in antioxidants are things like your berries, the you know, all your colorful berries like raspberries, blueberries, especially strawberries, all these things are such are so high in antioxidants and also fiber. And that leads me actually into fiber, which is probably one of the most important nutrients in our diet. And it's something that we don't really, you know, focus on. We focus more, more so on the macronutrients, so how much protein you're getting, how many carbs, how much fat. But fiber, one of the most important things you can have in your diet because it really does assist in your overall gut health. Fiber is pretty much a carb, I would say, that takes a while to be broken down so it actually sits in your gut for longer the bacteria in the gut actually can feed off of it and grow and help you with so many different processes in your body that is a whole video for another day but ultimately your gut health is also very important when it comes to healthy hair because there is a link from for your gut to your hair but that's probably another video for another day which if you are interested definitely comment down below and i'll make that but overall having a diet that is rich in nutrients and not really focusing on calories and you know proteins and obviously proteins and carbs and fats are good but the chances are if you are eating meat and your, your meats, your fishes, your grains, all of these things, you're most likely gonna hit your protein, fat and carb goals. But what I wanna challenge you with is to make sure that you're hitting your micronutrient goals because what you will see is that you will actually feel better from the inside and it should showcase on the outside with healthier, stronger hair. But yeah, that's all that I have to say about that. So if you do like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, things that you include in your diet that honestly help you with your overall health. Maybe even include some recipes, some meal ideas down below. I'm also going to be including the things that I've been eating lately because your girl has been seriously taking nutrition very seriously, especially after having my second baby, my body was felt completely broken. And I really had to make sure that I was healing myself from the inside. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.